Welcome back. We are exploring Gens 233rd H after capturing the man himself in the prison book. In particular, we need to find the uh, <coughs> the uh, combination to free Catherine, which she said was somewhere here. We haven't checked down here yet, so... Let's see... Looks like we found Gen's bedroom. He has some storage under the bed that we can't open. Um, tapestry... Looks like a sink. Oh. Let's so hold it down. Running water, nice. Presumably, he collects rainwater at the giant dish? I don't really know. Unlike Cirrus, he does not have a toothbrush. Some lights, presumably fire marbles. Hey, an imager. Um... Why is there ash in the imager? I don't know. Oh. Interesting, the ash seems to create some kind of sparkling effect in the imager. I wonder why Gen is doing that. Also, I wonder who that was. Someone important to Gen, presumably. I think she was speaking Dunny. At least I rec re recognized Shorati at the beginning. What's this, though? Buttons. Oh. I guess I broke it. Shouldn't have touched that. Don't remember just having buttons originally. Another light. Some more pictures. It's again my husband and my salvation. I. Dedic dedicate myself to the love that rescued me. Okay, the, the two D's are kind of connected, which makes that hard to to uh, to make out. Also, the E is very small, if there at all, at the end. Gens, wife, mother of Atrus, I would assume. Is that who we saw there? That would make sense that he would. Think she is important enough to have a hologram of in his room. Who is this? Stern looking man in very similar garb as Gen. Maybe Gen's father? Would be Dunny uh, dress, so. That would make sense. Would make him Atrus, father of um, of again spelled AI most of the time. Some kind of horn instrument here. Which again makes me wonder if it is Gen who's playing on those recordings upstairs. 
and a bedside table. This looks like it's a plate and... I don't know. It's either cutlery or it's one of those things from your... Uh, that they use the eye doctor to cover one of your eyes. This weird instrument is actually in the, uh, the art book that you can buy uh, with the game. Uh, it's described as a fire marble dowser. So it either blows air or maybe you can suck some water into it and then use it to spray water onto a fire marble to uh, douse the light. I guess he uses that to turn off his bedside light when he goes to sleep. And there is another journal. Let's see more. Um, more dates here. It's a 3 and 11, which is 86. 9 and 1 and 4 is 29. So that's about a year ago. I start this latest journal with astounding news. Catherine has returned to the fifth age. And though it sets my teeth on edge to say it, she has also vanished as quickly as she appeared, stolen from me by the rebels. As my guard tells it, she linked into the Fisher Plateau cage just as I surmised, when suddenly he was set upon by a band of rebels who darted him and spirited her away. I suspect the truth of the matter was that he was so dumbfounded at actually witnessing someone link in after all this time, that he presented an easy target for whichever rebel happened to be nearby. The damnable luck of it. He did get a good enough look at her, though, to verify that it was indeed Catherine. He also claims that he inspected all of her belongings and found no linking book on her person, a fact that I find hard to believe, but if true, makes the question of why she's returned here all the more puzzling. While I am sick with frustration at having lost the only quarry that Cage has ever caught, I am also filled with hope, as she may yet provide me with a way back to Dunny. It is true that I have managed, despite overwhelming odds, to break free of the confines of the Fifth Age and resume my mission to save my culture from extinction, but I fear that unless I am able to regain access to the vast resources that lie in the city's ruins, the task of resurrecting that great civilization will be impossible. If Catherine did bring a linking book with her, then I am halfway there. If not, then she is trapped in the Fifth Age, and I can only assume that my emotionally crippled son will soon be along to rescue her. Either way, it is crucial to my plans that I find her soon. Her presence here now forces me to take the rebels more seriously. I should never have permitted them to survive this long. 86.10.5 Once again, the Great Wark has demonstrated its usefulness to me. The villagers have been difficult to manage in the wake of Catherine's arrival, and their fear of this mythic beast has been all that has kept them in line. Had I known how truly useful these prodigious creatures would prove to be, I would have captured more of them while the local population was still plentiful. Although to be sure, if these disturbances continue, my current pets will be in no danger of perishing, for lack of nourishment. 86.10.13 the search for Catherine continues. He keeps wanting to write Catron, um, but seems to not want to put it that way. I deeply regret my mistake of having ever taught these primitive people anything at all about the books. It seems that with each passing day I more sorely realized the extent to which they were not ready for that knowledge, not even in the simplified manner in which I presented it to them. Their minds, adapted only to the exceptionally menial tasks of village life, were incapable of comprehending the art in all its complexity, and were thus unable to glean any of the underlying principles that are, ironically, so elegantly simple. It is obvious that so much of the discord that exists between us stems from their failure to grasp the meaning of the information I gave them. If they've been able to gain even the smallest glimpse of the glorious future I had planned for them, this conflict would not exist. 
The minds of the children, however, are much more malleable. With proper tutelage, they have developed a more appropriate posture towards the culture that has given them their lives. At times they take to it almost as if they had a bit of dunny blood in them. Given the native's inborn limitations, however, I am quite careful that none gain a level of understanding that would permit them to sin against their future the way that Catherine did. How foolish I was to think that she could wield such knowledge responsibly, when it was quite clear that my own son could not. Atrus. Still he remains one of the greatest disappointments of my life. I should never have left him with my mother. By the time I'd returned for him, he had already been poisoned to, as to all thoughts of aiding me in my noble mission. Perhaps that was the only way she could soften the fact that she had been responsible for the collapse of their entire civilization. So much destruction, so many great lives lost. The guilt must have been unbearable. She did seem to love my father and our world, but ultimately she was an outsider whose ignorance of the Dunny became the catalyst for their demise. If I am able to rebuild our culture and in the process correct such weaknesses, then perhaps what she did was ultimately necessary in order that a new and stronger era of prosperity might someday come to pass. Um, 87, 1, 4, going into the current Dunny year. I have been increasingly beset by images from the past these last few weeks. As I stood in the schoolroom today, I was reminded of my own childhood, the years I spent in the Bookmakers Guild. Father's immense pride at each of my small accomplishments there. He was an important man in the Dunny world, but I cannot bear to think of him for long. It is too much. I was too young to see such things. 8728 I have her! Late last night, I received word that Catherine had been apprehended while attempting to persuade some of the villagers to join her. I lost a few men in the process, but I would have gladly paid a hundred times that number for such a prize. She's been imprisoned in my old office, where I've been attempting to gain some insight as to the reason for her return. I've had to fight the all but constant impulse to put her on the gallows, as she has adopted the most infuriating stance of only answering my questions, when she answers them at all, in her native tongue. Even so, she is a poor liar. I am now certain that her return to Riven was unintentional, and that she brought no linking book with her. As far as her willingness to share with me the location of the moiety, we shall see. Without their leader, however, they are once again powerless against me. If Catherine's coming here was indeed an accident, then Atrus is bound to come for her. That is a given. The question I must now consider is, how will he attempt it? It is likely that his hesitation is due at least in part to this dilemma. One way or another, though, he'll have to bring a linking book to get back. There is no other way. Or there was no other way until we showed up. 87.620 It's late, and I cannot sleep. I've lost so much in my life, my people, my father, my son, and you, my wife, Kita. You were the only true kindness I've ever known. Watching you flicker there in the imager, sometimes I wonder if you were real. If I could restore your life with my pen, I would do so in an instant and leave the rest of the world to their own wretched fate. 87, 7... 30. Wait, no, that's not right. 87. I missed I missed an entry in my in my notes, it seems. This is actually 8771. Um Damn these savages. I would be well advised to leave them all in the fifth age and begin again with a clean sheet of paper. A stranger has arrived on Riven with a linking book to Dunny. And once again, my useless minion was overtaken by the rebels. From what little I could decipher of his muddled explanation, it apparently occurred sometime this morning. The cage mechanism has been damaged, but that is no matter. Everything I need is here now. Atrus is certainly behind this, but why would he send someone else in his stead, and with a linking book no less? Surely he would have guessed that I would be waiting for him. 
Such recklessness is unlike him. Could it be that he's had a change of heart toward me? That after all these years, he has finally decided to let his poor old father go? Ha! <laughs> I know all too well where his loyalties lie. He is only after one thing. Perhaps this stranger should find her. For now, I need only wait and observe. I'm beginning to think it was a mistake to allow the stranger to roam freely about the islands in their ignorant probing. They attempted to power the damaged drawbridge from Temple Island, and the entire bridge collapsed. A trivial loss at this point, but it irks me all the same. Had I not yet managed to free myself from that crumbling age, it would have hampered my progress severely. But again, it is no matter now. The day will soon come when I will be done with Riven forever. If you did not turn the bridge on, this entry will not be there. Wait. I think they changed the date. I think this was 30. Because it used to go from 30 to 6, which was weird. Now it goes from 1 to 6, which makes more sense, but uh, it doesn't mean that they changed the date that Riven takes place on. Um... 8776. Disconcerting news. Last night, a group of maintainers happened upon a lone rebel scout and were able to engage him long enough to learn of a most implausible device. A crystal window, supposedly capable of amending my linking books, much the way that my own remarkable system does. But with one slight advantage. It is small and weighs only a few pounds, making it entirely portable. If this outlandish claim is true, then the artifact in question must be something that Catherine fabricated prior to her capture, no doubt from an explicit Dunny schematic she brought with her. If only I'd had access to such a document all these years. The portent of this revelation is deeply troubling. Some years ago, the rebels managed to abscond with a dysfunctional litmaking book I'd intended to destroy. The book was never recovered, but once they had sufficiently atoned for their sacrilege, I graciously decided to let the matter slide, thinking that in their inept hands it could do me no harm. But if Catherine has indeed empowered them with such a device, the rebels may well have linked to another age. It also means that 233 is no longer safe. This cannot stand. A stranger is the key to all of this. Tracking their movements has given me a good idea of where this rebel linking book and the crystal may be hidden. But before I can deal with that, I must secure the linking book back to Dunny. Everything hinges upon that. If I can regain access to my arsenal of resources there, I will happily leave the whole of Riven to its own dismal future. Yeah, that tells us a lot about how much he actually cares. Apparently, we have also been on Riven for five days now. Didn't feel that long. Um... It's also very telling to me that Gen like, believes that Catherine brought a schematic with her for the book window. Like, why would she do that? She would have had no idea that Gen would have had dysfunctional linking books that needed such a thing. Regular Dunny linking books don't need it, so why would she have had that with her? It makes no sense whatsoever, but Gen is just incapable of even imagining that... Uh, someone could have come up with that, like, themselves, without external help. There's a hidden page on this linking, in this journal. And it shows imager codes. Kita, who we now know as Gen's wife, is five. Father two, and three. Anna, two, three, and five. Interesting. Take a quick picture of that so I can remember and try some of these codes out. Um... One more thing here, which is this. It seems to be some kind of timepiece. 
that when opened makes some noises. And those noises you may remember from the uh, entrance to Catherine's uh, prison, what used to be his old office. So this is the combination we're looking for. And just in case I don't remember it, because this is one of the... Actually, let's see, it's... I call that tick tick chirp tick tick. So I'm just gonna take a picture here. Not that the picture itself is in any way useful, but I can write on it. So tick tick chirp tick tick. There we go. So we don't have to repeat this over and over again like a certain code in Mist VR. <laughs> the other way I've done this is just like recorded with my phone. In VR, it was kind of annoying, obviously. Because you can't take notes in VR, nor can you take a picture of the code. Okay, let's try out some of those imager codes. Um, let's see, so 5 is where we started, that was, was Kita. I think it is which buttons need to be uh, lit. So we have 2 and 4. Three was father. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, now my turn. You want to record something so always you will remember. What is uh, English for scramape? Scum from above. Your appearance should have inspired us to a better future. What does it mean for us as a people if we cannot embrace worlds outside our own? You were a, an angel from above. Always you will be my angel from above. Interesting. Didn't sound like this was recorded for Gen, but for Anna, Gen's mother. Also, he looks a lot younger than he does there. And I think Atrus died in the fall, so... Old Atrus died in the fall, so maybe this is Gen's grandfather? I don't know. And lastly, we have Anna herself. And this is... a bit of an important moment, uh, I feel, because... Anna is somebody who has been mentioned a lot. Her grave is on mist in the various remakes. She is an important figure in the first novel, The Book of Atrus. She raised our Atrus and is responsible for a lot of his values and understanding of the world. And of course, she was also the main character of The Book of Tiana, which is her dunny name, where her arrival on uh, in the dunny cavern she found her way there through the caverns from the volcano that we see in Uru and Mist 5. Her arrival um, there ended up being the catalyst for the fall of Dunny. So we know a lot about her. We have never actually seen her, though.
<laughs> An angel. <laughs> Your angel. The Denny Council knew it. They knew. <sighs> if I hadn't tried to force my own ideals on your world, <laughs> you would still be alive. <laughs> you would still be alive. <laughs> I wanted a, a life full of magic, full of books that bridged worlds, that lit up the darkness like stars. The possibilities were endless. <sighs> it's just us now. You'll never have the life you should have had. Somehow my love and compassion, it, it took that. I don't know how. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Again. Wow. <laughs> considering, uh, considering how much again seems to dislike Anna, I'm surprised he even kept this recording. Though I guess even she is a link back to his old life before the fall. Um, I think Anna is much too hard on herself, to be honest. I can understand Gen would blame her, but that she blames herself to such an extent is... Uh, I think not justified. It was really Viovis and his friend whose name I can't remember that uh, caused the fall of uh, of Dunny. It was their bigotry, their greed that led there. And uh, yes, Anna's arrival may have started these events, but I don't believe that... Uh, that she was really responsible for them. The only thing she did that is that really is a direct like um, interference in affairs that led there was convince the council the council to let Viovis go. Like if she hadn't done that and they'd executed him, then yeah, maybe none of that would have happened. Uh, maybe that's what she meant when she says that it was her love that somehow caused it but even then how was she to know that that what what he was capable of doing this is by far my favorite addition to the remake it's a wonderful little 
gift for longtime fans who, of course, know who this person is, who've never seen her before, and a little bit of a glimpse into that world that we didn't get before, and it's, I, I absolutely love that they added that. Um, wait, is that, uh, I took that for like a drawer handle, but maybe it's just a step? It's kind of hard to tell. It really look like there's a drawer there. Anyway, um, with the combination and a little bit more information about Gen, and if you still had your doubts about whether or not Gen was as evil as he, uh, um, said he wasn't, <laughs> basically, then uh, this journal uh, should tell you even more so than you already knew. All right, we need to... Um, Return to Riven and free Cavern. All right, back in Gen's laboratory here. I don't know if I pointed out last time, but uh, his pipe is indeed no longer here. I wonder if this is like a lighter for the pipe or something. He has a similar thing on his desk in... Uh, in... Uh, in 233. Him leaving this journal here is kind of the most perplexing thing. It contains a lot of information that tells you he should not be trusted. Yet he seemed okay with us reading it. Or it was an oversight on his part. He is by no means perfect, of course. Okay, since we need to go back to Prison Island, we need to use the rotating domes again. Fortunately, there is one nearby. I guess I left that open when I uh, went back via the um, via the book cart. Um, this is the symbol. For Boiler Island, so that is uh, that one. I think I was too early. There we go. Oh, I forgot to check if this one's. If this one's marked too. I'm assuming it is. Uh, not worth going back for. the spinning of these domes actually serves a purpose. Neither in the original nor this version it's really clear why they spin, other than as a part of the mechanism to unlock them.
Maybe it has some other purpose as well, but I don't know. Okay, we need to go back to Prison Island. I think it's on the other side somewhere. There it is. It will be easiest to go from here. And there we go. Entirely sure, but I think I'm, I actually no, I'm not, I don't know if you can talk to um, Catherine again after having trapped her, but before freeing her. So let's give that a try, shall we? Take a quick look. See if she has anything to say. I have a feeling that if she does, it'll probably just be reminding us of the code again because, of course, she has no way of knowing that we know the code. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually run here, because we've been here often enough. Music stopped for some reason. running out. You have to get me out of here. The combination to the elevator is somewhere in Gen's outpost in age 233. Go quickly. And be careful. Oh, for a second I thought I was repeating the first message, but no, it was actually a new message. And like I thought, yeah, she uh, just reminds you of where to find the combination. Catherine's role is almost like CW in this uh, game. More of a hint dispenser than anything else. Other than the first time you see her, anyway. Fortunately, we already have the combination, which we could not tell her. So we can try to set her free. Hopefully that actually is the combination. Because if it's not, I don't know what else it could be at this point. This whole island just seems slightly off uh, level. I wonder if that's intentional. It's sinking like sideways slightly. All right, let's see. I remember. 
didn't use the bell sound. I think it was two times this one and then the middle and then two times this one again. And then this, I guess? It's doing something. Oh, it lowered it. Lowered uh, an elevator, which I did not see because I didn't realize you could do that. Uh, people may already know what's happening. Once we're back with the moiety, we'll have time to regroup. Can I see the book? You did it. You captured Gen. We're all free. But there's still his followers. I'm not sure what they'll do once they realize he's gone. I have to get the villagers to safety as soon as possible. And you... You go back to where you first arrived and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Atrus. I'll try to make it back there as soon as possible, but don't wait for me. Oh, and don't forget the combination in my journal. You'll need it. Okay. We will do that. Um, I kind of need the elevator, though. These controls are broken. I doubt that works. Otherwise, Catherine could have escaped quite easily. There's a mirror, and apparently I'm a vampire. <laughs> Or just straight up invisible based on the evidence in this game. Get to look around a little bit here now too, which of course we couldn't before. I quite like this, using the elevator as a way to uh, delay you from following Catherine rather than just locking you in place for a little bit uh, like the original did. Not very luxurious co accommodations, but uh, better than nothing, I guess. It'd be hilarious if one of the moiety showed up right now. And these are the holes in the wall that we could look through. Anyway, I suppose we better do what she said. Now, reopening the fissure sounds like a bad idea to me. based on everything we've seen about it. Just missed the symbol. There we go. Catherine herself believed that the results would be catastrophic after all this time, but if they are, I guess that would mean it's enough of a change to uh, make sure that Aters notices it. In order to do that, we need to return to Temple Island, though. Which we need to uh, get to via here again. Which, unfortunately, 
Also means we need to rotate the room again. This was a little bit easier in the original game where you, uh... would link back to, uh, 233 and then link to, uh, Ah, oh, they still haven't fixed this. The... I think this is a bit of a continuity error here. <laughs> this bridge shouldn't be pointed our way. It should be pointed wherever... Uh... Catherine went. Presumably Village Island. Because she would have had to turn it that way to get there, and... Has, uh... There's no way for her to turn it back this way. In the original game, uh, you'll find that Catherine has uh, tore out pages from all of the linking books except the one to uh, Temple Island, um, which is there. It's that symbol. So you can't go anywhere else anymore. In this uh, version, you still can. You are free to uh, roam around Riven anywhere you please. Wait. This bridge is not retractable anymore. That's changed. I think that's a patch change, though, not something Catherine did. I guess if you don't originally go to the rotating dome on Temple Island, it would waste quite a lot of time having to get back there once you've accessed the other domes. So maybe that's why they changed it to uh, to have that bridge always extended. Okay, got to rotate this again. Quite a lot, I think, actually. Because, yeah, this takes us there. Which is useless. Needs to rotate it three times total. Fortunately, then we're done because we don't need to get back into the Golden Dome. Though I think you still can. Probably still get back to 233 as well if you want. Take one last look at the fifth age in all of its real time 3D glory. All right, the combination is in. Oh, wait, it's in her journal which we have with her with us so I did not uh, need to uh, take a picture of it there we go um, let's see how efficient I can do this this is six three five No? Yes. Six, three, five, nine, eight. Six, three, five, nine, eight.
Um, six. Three. Five. Nine. No. Eight. And then it's um, three, six, one, five, seven. Three, six, one, five, seven. That's the wrong way. Three, six, oh. Five nine seven, I think it was nine seven. Let's see if I got that right. I did not. No, I keep doing this. See three six oh one five seven okay one five seven I did put one I said five but I did one there we go something happened Not really obvious what but something did happen. Um, oh, that raises it, and also makes my mouse freak out a little bit. Lower it. It's a bit of an awkward view, but at least it makes sure that you can see everything at once. I guess what we need to do here is use the this equipment that um, Catherine in her journal set was originally used to install the uh, the telescope to um, uninstall the telescope. Which I guess makes a little bit more sense than again having built a telescope that you can lower so much that it can break the window. <laughs> and then put a clumsy stop in place to prevent you from accidentally destroying the world. Although that is very in character of him, I have to say. Um, um, that seems to be as far as it can go. Do we need to lower it more? Possibly. Okay. If I am right, then this should do the trick. are safely in the rebel age I thank you as do I you've accomplished more than I could have hoped for you've given me back my life the path home is now clear for all of us This is where our paths must part. 
we'll meet again someday. You know where to find me. Goodbye, my friend. Now I understand. Endings and beginnings are within the fissure. That riven cleft of stars that acts as both a wall and a bridge. And though I'm unable to understand how, the very flow of stars that brought my mist book into worthy hands, I am sure served as a safe passage home for my friend. The age of Riven has come to a close, but the people of Riven are free. And now I am at rest, understanding that in books and ages and life, the ending can never truly be written. The ending can never truly be written. How prophetic those words have turned out to be. Who would have thought that over 30 years after the release of Myst, we'd still be playing these games? That they'd still be making them? It's a pretty unique story in the world of video games. I absolutely love this remake, if you couldn't already tell. It gave me everything I wanted, and more. What I was hoping for was a good modern version of Riven, with graphics that do the original justice, and I was hoping to visit Riven in VR and get that ultimate sense of immersion. And I got those things. This game is beyond gorgeous, and seeing it in VR was a literal dream come true. The original sounds and music are still there, and they were always great. Yes, there are a few spots where the original has a clear edge, the most noticeable of which is the characters, of course. There's just no way 3D animated characters can live up to the original live action. However, I was never expecting them to. I understand why it was necessary to make the game work in 3D, and especially VR, where the characters need to have volume. I also understand that Cyan is a small studio and doesn't have the same resources to put towards character work that you'd see in a AAA game. As it is, it's good enough. It's better than the models in Mist 2021 at least, and I'll gladly take these characters if it means we can get the rest of this game. Above and beyond that though were the changes. I knew there'd be some, but I wasn't expecting the extent. As a result, the game did something I could never have hoped for. It made me feel I was playing Riven for the first time again. And that was simply amazing. The changes are mostly very well done, too. It, they are well integrated into the world, expand on the lore, and just work. As much as I miss the iconic wooden eyeballs, the new animal puzzle is very well put together. The Starry Expanse was a great addition and makes the domes much more meaningful than they were before. I loved seeing the fire marble cave and against parents and the imager. Really the only change I don't like is the sliding puzzle on Survey Island. While the fire marble puzzle needed some improvements, just giving you the answer wasn't it. Even with all the changes though, the game still feels like Riven. It's clear that this was made from a place of love and that the developers took every care to preserve Riven's essence while expanding on it. I think it's just amazing that science still exists at all and is still making games as good as this and for that i am truly grateful cyan has hinted that they may be interested in making new games set in the mist universe and after this i am very excited to see what they can come up with i really hope that as atris said the ending has not yet been written thanks for watching and goodbye
Huh.